Now, I'm not sure if you can hear outside, but it's overcast. There's thunder, there's rain. It is dreary as anything. It is the perfect weather to play a dungeon crawler. And I have for you Dungeon Legends. Now, Dungeon Legends is from the Chronicles of Avel universe. And we that's where we are. We're in Avel. We're underneath the castle and we're fighting off monsters. Now, this is going to be a cooperative campaign game based around the mechanic of deck building. So let's go over a little bit of a solo game just to understand. We'll just play a little bit of it just to understand if this game is gonna be for you. Now, what have we got in front of us? We have a neoprene mat. This top row is our monsters. Now, if these monsters ever get to the end, get to the castle, to the steps of the castle, we've lost the game. Over here is gonna be some advanced cards. I said it's a deck builder, so we're gonna need better cards to go into our deck of hands. Down the bottom, we have six locations. Now, these six locations have a whole bunch of actions, mainly based around us spending the currency of dust. Right now, I've got the Smith character, I've got the Sorceress, this character's got two dust, this character's got one dust. That's pretty much the starting point. What else we got here? We got fairies, and on our boards here, we got our standard health here, which is this is our, called our toughness. We got some one-time actions up here. As we use them, we can't go back, but once we use them, yeah, they're just little freebies. The way I like to think about it is freebies. And then over here, we have our fairies. So this sorceress has one fairy to start off with. Now, I'm gonna be playing solo, but solo is gonna be very similar to two players. The only difference is if we we're playing two players, each player would have their own deck of cards and you know, 10 cards each, pretty standard deck building. But in this instance, what I've done is put them together, shuffled them up, just taken 10 out, and that is gonna be my 10 cards that I'm gonna be playing with. Now, I've got a bunch of things I need to achieve, but mainly it's keeping these monsters out of the palace and it's also because it's campaign one, my job is to get rid of these fire tokens. If I put out these fire tokens, I win this first game. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the sorceress over here. This is the sorceress here. This is the smith over this side. Let's get cracking into it. Now, draw out five cards, standard deck building, nothing too overwhelming for us here. What have we got? Five cards here and they've all got little tokens, little not tokens, little items up the top here. So we've got swords, we've got boots for movement, we've got more dust, we've got shields, and then basically we can also have health as well. And there's also range, which I don't have any out here, but there's also ranged attacks as well. So what do I need to achieve? Well, I need to achieve in these two end spots here, right now, this one says if I spend boots, I get to fill up my bucket of water well, bucket with water. And I'm gonna need that water to put out the fires. Right now, we've got two buckets, both of them empty, pretty useless to us as empty. So I'm currently right here. Now, have I got two boots? Yes, I do. I think it makes sense to spend my two boots to fill up my bucket. So that's nice and easy because the sorceress is here. That means the sorceress is in row number six. So I'm in location number six. And also means I'm fighting in row number six as well. So I'm fighting the monster above me. Okay, what have else have I got? I've got two swords and I've got a dust. Now. This monster right here says I can't attack with swords, so I can only attack with ranged attacks, so that's pretty useless to me right now. Oh, that's a pretty rubbish start. I'm just gonna spend my dust, top that up there, and that's all I can do. That's a rubbish first round for me. Get out five more cards, one, two, three, five, and now we flip over this deck here. This is gonna contain monsters, and it's also gonna contain events. Okay, now the monster comes out. Again, as the monsters come out, it's gonna be pushing, pushing, or pushing. If we ever get max chickens all the way to the end, boy, it is over. The monsters won, we lost, we don't want that. Okay, cool, that's all that needs to be done. Now I look at my five cards again, we're ready to go. Except the thing is, we just have to remember that we're now playing as the Smith. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this dice over here to let me know which character I'm playing. So I'm playing as the Smith now, and I have got a whole bunch of dust. This is the problem. As I went through these cards, I just randomly shuffled them. I probably should have picked out my best 10, but anyway, so I've got a lot of dust, which could be good, could be bad. Um, okay, this monster I can attack. I don't have much attack here. I do have health, so if I do attack him and he does some damage back, that's not bad. Okay, let's do that first. Let's attack this monster, and I'll also use my health to come back. So let's attack this monster with one, and the monster has the little symbol up here, which means every time I attack it with a sword, it attacks me back. So I would lose a health, but because I've got this card here, I get a health. Nice, nice and simple. Now I've got three dust remaining. So I'm in this location here called Master of Traps. Now this lets me spend two, three, four or five dust to be able to put out traps. Now traps are pretty good because I can put them in spaces here and here. It's gonna, as the monsters go over them, it's gonna bite them and you know how the trap works, I don't need to explain that. Anyway, I've got three dust here. I could spend some more if I want, but you know what? I might do that. Let's spend two dust to get a two trap out and I'll put that there. 
And I'm gonna spend the last dust just to top up here. So that's all my five actions done. Smith is done, back to the sorceress. Now you gotta shuffle your cards. So unfortunately with my 10 cards, I've got a lot of dust, not much else, which is a bit of a worry. Let's we'll see, we'll still make it work. Remember, over the course of the game, I can get some more advanced cards. I'm gonna need them, I think, to obviously get better hands. Now flip over another card. Now it's an event, so let's see what this one says. Roll the die, put a fire on the roll location. Remember, my job is to put out these fires, and unfortunately, we don't want more fires, but that's what we're gonna have to do. So let's do that, and it's gonna be a fire in number six. And there we go, fire there. That event's done. The only positive with the event is it means a monster doesn't come out, so that's always good. Next up, I'm now playing as the sorceress. Again, more dust, some swords, and a boot. Well, right now, I do need to put out this fire. Like, I'm right here right now, so it makes sense to use that bucket of water, which is a bit of a shame. I wanted to use it down here, but I might as well use it now. Do my bucket of water. That fire's gone, so that was, yeah, it wasn't much of a fire. It didn't last very long. Uh, now, I am here. I don't have enough boots. Hmm. It would be nice to get some more water again. So what I could do is I could, because I can't use these swords to attack this monster, so what I could do, I could spend, at any time, you can spend three cards to get one of these. So a boot, a sword, a shield, or a dust. I might spend these three right here to get another boot. So there's a boot there, a boot I just got from these three cards. That gives me two boots, it means I've topped up my water again. They're all done, and I've got one dust left, and let's just top that up there. So that's the end of the sorceress's turn. Move over to the smith, get me five more cards. One, two, three, four, five. Now, how are we gonna get these advanced cards? Well, to get them, quite often, it's defeating these monsters. So I really need to start concentrating on defeating some of these monsters right here. But first things first, flip over one more card. Now the monster comes out, and now we're up to the smith. What are we gonna do? Oof. Well, again, I don't have much attack at all, which is pretty rubbish. But what we do do is have, what we do do, do do. That sounds very childish. Um, I'm gonna spend one, one boot there, one movement. I'm gonna move down here. And then what I'm gonna now do is I'm gonna spend some of my, some of my dust here to go to the ballista. So I get to spend two dust. So let's do that, spend two dust right now. If I roll a two or a three, I get one ranged attack. If I roll a four, five, or six, I get two ranged attacks. So let's have a look. A six, perfect, two ranged attack. So I'm gonna do two ranged attack to this guy over here. And right now, he's on three, three damage. We need four, so one more and he would be gone. Okay, so that's my ranged attack done. Hmm, we still got another boot. Maybe, I might start venturing this way more. Let's go down this way, one more that way, and we'll fill up with a dust. There we go, Smith is done, and we will move back to the Sorceress. Five more cards. And we're over to the Sorceress, get another card out here, and it's another event. This says each hero loses one toughness. Remember, toughness is just the name for our health, so both of them are gonna lose one. That's fine, not the end of the world. We're still pretty healthy at this stage. Now, what are we gonna do here? Hopefully kill some monsters would be nice. Okay, well we've got plenty of attack here, which is good. Now we've got three attack. Hmm, well, first things first, I need to go down and actually attack that monster. So let's use one movement there. Move down one, we can attack this monster. We'll use one to attack it. It's gonna give us four there. It's gonna give us one coming back, but that's fine. We can handle that. And now we've still got three left. What do I wanna do? Well, firstly, let's get rid of the monster first. Now, what's my, what do I get for this? Okay, I get a choice of either two fairies or one advanced card. <sighs> Remember, fairies are one-time use only. Um, I think I want the advanced card right now. Let's go with, kind of like, oh, oh, it's a tough call. Let's go with that one right there. Okay, so we go straight to the top of your, uh, top of your deck. So that's gonna be definitely drawn out next round. What have we got here? Oh, that's the card we want. More ranged attack, that's what we need. Okay, I've still got three cards left. Hmm, do you know what? Let's see, I am, I can't do much. Well, I could put layout in that a trap. So maybe I'm gonna spend two dust there and I'll spend one, one dust there, keeps three, and I'll put out a three trap. 
and I've just got one card which I can't use. So that is the end of the sorceress's turn. Now we'll do a couple more rounds, and then I think we've got I think we've got an idea what we need to do. So remember, this card's going to come out. That's guaranteed to come out next round. So I need to draw four more. One, two, three, four. And right now, I haven't got down any of this fire yet. So remember, my focus is to get rid of this fire. So we're going to move over to the smith. Pull out another card here. It's another monster. Oof. This is getting very toit. Very toit like toiger. Okay, what are my five cards? Let's have a look. Okay, I've got some movement, some attack with swords, and some more dust. Well, right now, I want to put out this fire. So we've got one movement here. I'm going to use this one also for a movement. Let's do that. So use two movement. One, two. I'm going to use my pail. And there we go. Got rid of a fire. So I've only got six more to go. Now you can choose at the start to either go six, seven, or eight, depending if you want an easy, medium, or hard. I went medium. Um, I'll have some more dust. I have some swords. I can attack this guy. Why not? Two swords there. Let's do that. Double attack. And it's going to be two damage. And one damage is going to come back. And... Then we got one dust left, let's top that up there. Now, what we do have is we've got these bonus actions up the top which we haven't used yet. What we might do, why not just use one now? This one just gives me one ranged attack. I'm gonna just hit that, that guy right there. Didn't even know I was coming, and that's done. I could use all of them in one turn if I want, but remember, once I've used them, I can't go back, they are done. So you might wanna save them, or you may wanna go loose as a goose and just use them all early, who knows? Okay, we'll do one more round and we are all done. So put this over here, draw out five more. Hopefully you get the idea of how this game plays. And for a deck builder, this is a fun, fun little deck builder. Now, uh, more monsters. Ugh, ugh. Monsters, bad, right here. Let's get rid of those. Okay, let's do last round. Let's focus on these monsters. Is there any way I can get rid of them? Not at all, zero attacks, absolutely horrendous. We're moved over here, actually. Maybe what we're gonna do, is let's use your action there. I'm gonna get another card, which is gonna be this card here, which gives me at least one attack. Oof. Okay. Let's go with, I'm gonna spend two movement to go one, two. Now I'm gonna spend three dust to top up my water. Remember, that's my main focus. Now from here, I have three dust here. Actually, what we might do? Oh, I need more movement. I need more movement. I don't have any more movement. Uh, okay, so I don't want to attack this guy with a sword. So I attack him with a sword. He's going to get one damage, but he's going to attack me back twice. It doesn't sound amazing. I don't like those odds. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to spend these three here, because at any time I can spend three cards to get one of these actions, and I'm going to spend three of them to get a movement. I'll move back here. And look, I'll just attack this guy. He's not as bad. So I'm going to attack him with one. One damage there. One damage comes back to me. And that's pretty much all you need to know. So I'm going to keep rinsing and repeating, going back. I've filled up my water here. So my aim is to come back here, get rid of these fires. You, you get it. Kill monsters. Put out fires. That's campaign number one. When do you get to two, three, four, five? They just get tougher, harder, more intense. Absolutely insane. So let me go back now. Let me gather my thoughts and let's have a talk about Dungeon Legends. I told you it was disgusting outside. Anyway, why can I not wrap my head around Dungeon Crawlers? I don't understand what it is as a theme that really just puts me off games. Now, Dungeon Legends, I was considering not reviewing this and mainly because of that theme. And that would have been a real shame. Dungeon Legends truly is just that simplicity deck builder. Think of Clank. Think about how that game makes you feel. I absolutely love Clank as a game, and this gives me similar vibes. Now, Dungeon Legends, forget the fact it's in the dungeon. This is a great game. It's tight. It's a great cooperative, great campaign game. And you know what? Deck building, you just can't go wrong. How brilliant is it as a mechanic? Really? I truly think I'm done with games. Nothing makes sense anymore. I've got all these games around here in the room and all these games that are still here, still standing, or most of them, are just perfect for me. This game had no right to be a good game. It's dungeons, which I don't like. It's co-op, which I don't like. 
I didn't even really want to review this game. But I'm glad I did. The fact that it makes no sense that this game shouldn't be for me, and the fact I loved it so much, screams this is a game for a lot of people. There's going to be a lot of people who love dungeons, who love co-op games. And they're going to really enjoy this deck building element. It's, I mean, look, it's been done before. We got things like Clank and all of that, but I really, really enjoyed my time with this. And that's where I think I'm feeling a bit flustered with this. I don't know how to describe something that I went in with biases thinking I wouldn't like. Now, I've had such a bad run lately where games haven't been giving me that wow well factor. It's probably Peacemakers was probably the last game that truly made me go, wow. But this one, this one was really good. I think it's just below that wow well level, but it's still pretty good. Now, a game that came to my mind as I was playing it was Now or Never, another game that has its own universe and a lot of games based in that universe, and it's such a great franchise. Difference between Now or Never and Dungeon Legends is this game has that story narrative that really helps drive it along, and I love the artwork. I love everything about Now or Never, and Above and Below, and Near and Far, and all those games. But that story and narrative hides gameplay that just isn't 100% right for me. Whereas this is lacking that story narrative, but it really is gameplay that I enjoyed. Why can't I just mend both of these games together and just... Oh God, that sounded awful, but I don't know. If I could just mend those, meld those two games together, I think I have myself the perfect game. Dungeon Legends, it's just, it was, it was great. It was really great. Wow. Well, just wow. Not wow, but just below wow.